Sam getting ready to go walking today. Right, Sam? Good morning. Another little bit of a late start for Sam and I. We've been spending the past few mornings <clears throat> enjoying what little internet we've been able to get since we've gotten our uh, shed to a tiny house conversion done on what we called the cabin. And uh, it's been nice to to wake up to some kind of normalcy to be able to check out the things on YouTube we usually check out and uh, feel like we're part of the world again. We've been in this data black hole now for over a month and I feel like I, I don't know what's going on out there. And I know that my videos might even reflect that I'm a bit oblivious to what's happening in the world. I do know there's a lot of crazy things going on, but I found that knowing about them doesn't always help me to do much so it's been easier just to focus on what's right in front of me and pray about the things I have no control over but uh, I know uh, I know times are getting strange out there for a lot of people not only in this country but around the world and uh, my prayers are with all of you as you face your individual trials but one thing I do know is Facing these trials with a healthy body and mind is going to make life a lot easier. And uh, I had no idea when I began this journey that I would be in the position I'm in now to influence people to change their lives in such a way that's so important in these trying times. To be able to have the energy to face whatever the, the world's going to throw at you today or people or your adversary, being mentally and physically prepared is so important because when you're already overrun by the small issues in your life, when something big comes along, it just washes you right away. And that's where a little bit of preparedness on that daily part of taking care of yourself as if you were somebody that you had the responsibility of caring for so that when the time comes, you can be there for a loved one or a friend who needs your support so that you can be there for your family when you all face tough times together so that you can be that rock, that strong person that helps everyone get through the tough time. It's so important to be physically and mentally prepared for that. And having good health is a huge part of that. And I wish I could do something about all this wind blowing through the mic right now. But this wind is blowing in the cold weather of fall as it comes into mid Florida. It's been so cold these past couple of mornings. I got up to go walking and I was like, uh-uh. Not until I get something a little warmer to wear. So Katie bought me a, a hoodie that I was wearing this morning when I went out to, to make some breakfast. Here's a quick video of that. So this morning I'm making stew meat in an air fryer. We've gone for six minutes so far and we're going for another six. So here we are all done. Oh, they look beautiful. Let's see how they taste. Mmm, perfect. I thought these might come out tough because I was air frying stew meat. Mmm. Can't go wrong that way. Mmm. <laughs> it's a little chilly this morning. You can see the sun's already up. I haven't gone for my walk yet. It's because Katie and I have been enjoying the fact that we can sit inside the cabin and actually get internet for a little while in the morning before it's gone and enjoy some television together. <laughs> this is delicious. I wonder what part of the, part of the cow is called stew meat. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's delicious.
I got some more liver out, so I can give that another try. <clears throat> I'm gonna try it in the air fryer next time. So we'll see how that goes soon. So that stew meat turned out really good, especially right out of the pan. But after sitting for a few minutes and cooling down, it did toughen up a good bit. So not the best way to make stew meat, but it got me what I needed for the day. It was delicious and I'm ready to keep going. Ready to get my exercise on, ready to get you excited so you can do the same. So today I also found out that I got to run up to Georgia. I didn't realize that I had a dental appointment tomorrow that precedes my dental appointment in November. And uh, we're having to scurry around at the last minute here and uh, make some arrangements so that we'll be able to make this quick trip up there and come on back. But uh, that's, that's what I got running my day right this moment. Still trying to get all my ducks in a row to be established here. Things are going slow with the state. But at the same time, I still got some things to finish up back home. We're in my old home. And uh, I'm heading back now to get that going. So until next time, you guys keep walking and I'll see you tomorrow. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?